tomorrow's career experience day or something. Oh yeah, I was gonna go buy a bunch of these Celo Mists before I recorded, but I kind of forgot because I was just doing something else. Uh, I believe I've talked to everyone, I think. Anyways, I'm going to uh, buy a whole bunch more of these. Because I uh, apparently the girl still wants some. I have enough money to buy as many as I need. Uh, a solid amount will be good. Also, I'm going to have to... Um, I know where to get the Queen Elizabeth now because I was being an idiot, of course. I've been mentioning that I think this uh, Let's Play has been pretty bad so far. Because I've definitely not uh, learned the game mechanics quick enough. And my Personas, I probably should probably have at least 60% Personas collected in the Compendium. I would think a, a average player would have. I probably could have had maybe 80% of my social links at this point if I was actually good. But, you know, I'm not that great apparently. So you'll have to deal with what's happening with me essentially. I'm, I'm really just buying random while talking. I'm going to try and make the rest of it worthwhile, but, you know, I can't promise anything because you've seen how much of a garbage Let's Play this has been so far. Most common seem to be just pointing out how stupid I'm being, so that's never fun to have. Well, whatever. I'll just try and make it at least bearable the rest of it, from starting from now on. Same thing I'm doing wonderful 101. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. I'll buy this one and see how many I have. This is one I'm really guessing at this point. For all I know, I'm still doing it wrong. And I'm actually supposed to do something special when buying them. And I don't realize it. Um, uh, where are you? 28. Let's make it 30, I guess. But I have a feeling I need more than that. I'm thinking minimum 50 at this point. I've gone up by 15 since I had 15 last time. Okay, let's go to bed because there's no point. There's nothing else to do, really. Go to bed and, I guess, sleep. Oh, yeah, I am tired anyway. Because we just had a, a, an unexpected mission where Chidori died and Junpei got his uh, resolve helping his persona upgrade. The next four days are career experience days. So what exactly is it? It's going to pass the entire week like an exam, I presume? Day after day, you carry the cardboard boxes. So it basically skips the week. It doesn't even show us anything. Maybe. Okay. I was thinking, what, did it like stall on me or something? Unless, because it has to skip multiple days, it had, takes a while. Hello. Jinpei san is still not feeling well. I'm getting really worried now. Oh yeah, we haven't seen him since then. After all he's been through, I can understand why he's feeling down. He got really lucky this week, though. No one realized he took some days off because everyone was at career experience. Well, I hope he's feeling a little better now. I'm going to defeat those Strega guys. I can't take this anymore. I know how you feel, but you don't have to do it all by yourself. I know. I don't see why you Carrie's the one who cares so much when she's the one who dislikes him the most. Her experience totally wiped me out. That and what happened to Junpei. Speaking of which, I wonder if he's going to be okay. Uh, how did everyone else do? What did we, we just carried boxes? There's a saying, time heals all wounds. Don't you think that applies to Iori? A few days have already passed, but he still seems the same. Should we just give him more time? Or should we try to help him? Uh, let's help him. You're right, he needs help, but what should we do? I don't know, you're the expert. Oh, we're actually allowed to go to Tartarus? Well, I don't see a reason, though. Jinpei Kun never showed up for career experience. He must have gone somewhere. What if Jinpei Kun never recovers from this? Well, Mitsuru did, and she seemed to have been in the worst position. Career experience was interesting. I performed routine labor, over and over again. Alright, you seem happy about that. How was career experience? It was fun. Oh, it's too bad Junpei-san didn't attend then. It would have made him happy again. On second thought, it probably would have made... Wouldn't have been that easy. 
Well, how happens if I say it was boring? No wonder Jimpe san didn't attend career experience. I hope he recovers soon. That's... Well, he will for sure. He knows what he needs to do. He's just afraid to do it. I think all he needs is a little push. Who's gonna push him? Who's willing to go that far to push him? Update on the missing patient from yesterday. There seems to be a high likelihood that the girl was kidnapped by a, the culprit who threw the explosives in. Well, I don't know if that's true. Uh, I'll let someone else do it for now, but I'll get back to you. Because I want to just go to Junpei's room quickly, and then I'll go and uh, walk you. But no one wants to come again. Am I tired? No, I'm good. Apparently, career experience didn't wipe me out. This is Junpei's room. He doesn't seem to be in his room. He's not in there? Where is he then? Actually, let's go see if there's a new recording as well. Hmm. Where is Junpei if he's not in his room? Is there a place I can go find him? Maybe he's gone to the place where Chidori first tied him up? Oh, no, there's no new recordings. I, I was getting all excited thinking there was another one. But apparently that's not true either. Okay, Junpei. If you're not in the dorm, are you outside of the dorm or are you... I keep wanting to go out here, but there's never a reason. He seems to have completely left the dorm. He, he, we're probably going to get a scene with him soon then. Seems unlikely that they'll continue for that long, but Sir was out for a long time. And then when she came back, it was almost too late to use her. And as I said, I'm not really enjoying her new upgrade compared to some of the others. All she uses is uh, Mind Charge, and then we defeat most of the enemies before we she even has a chance. Maybe, you know, during uh, a boss will come in handy, but for normal enemies it doesn't. I'm going to go out quickly and see if I can find Jinpei around, maybe. I doubt it, because I can only go to Polonia Mall. And if he would be there, I'll talk to him. If not, then walk Koromaru. But my assumption is, of course, that he's not here. Why would he be coming here? Nope. In fact, there's like no one here, except for him. How's my investment doing? Oh, there you are. We ran into a bit of a snag again. Some of the other investors decided to drop out. Since there are fewer investors, each person's profits will be even bigger. Do you mind investing a bit more? Just 10,000 yen more. That should be plenty. Are you in? Sure, I have the money. You gave the man 10,000 yen. My foolish little apprentice. Have you not realized that you are being deceived? Everything I said has clearly been suspicious. Ignorance should be a crime. Sure, you have some positive qualities, but if you remain so naive, everyone will take advantage of you. Stick with me and I'll show you how to be a winner. Wait, what? Very well, young man. If you insist, I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Uh, You look familiar. Yes, it's so very difficult to being famous. I can't hardly go anywhere without being recognized. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program called... Oh, that's this guy! Oh, I didn't realize that. Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Allow me to introduce myself. The well-dressed man handed you a business card. It says, President and Executive Producer Tanaka. That's right, I'm Tanaka. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I cannot return the 40,000 yen you gave me, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny. Toodaloo! As Tanaka turned and walked away, his fake smile melted into a look of annoyance. That little brat. Does he realize he's in the presence of a star? I should have charged him extra for a private autograph signing. You can hear the President Tanaka muttering to himself. Say something to him. Huh? What do you want? Quit disturbing me! Shoo shoo! Are you gonna go punch me? Did you overhear me talking to myself? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone he took my money or he called me a little brat. Capiche? Quiche? <laughs> what, can I keep annoying him for some reason? Quiche? <laughs> Very funny. You may be cute, but you're no comedian. 
Friends of Tanaka's part is beat it, beating with sweat. Silly me. I've let you in on my secret, haven't I? Tee hee hee. Don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll let your shoes clean if you want me to. Uh. Oh, man. Seems like these decisions actually make a difference. Should I tell him to do it, or... <laughs> Let's tell him to alright. Alright. Seriously? You promise? I'll make you swallow a thousand deals if you're lying. A verbal agreement is considered a contract, and I'll sue your pants off if you breach ours. I've got your adorable little face etched into my memory. He seems to have taken an interest in you. You've become acquainted with President Tanaka, the executive producer of a TV shopping program. Oh, that's the most bizarre social link. I get to see him on TV and talk to him. Plus, I have his autograph. Who's... So the devil arcana. Well, celebrities are devils. Celebrities are evil. Man, this is a late entry into social link. You're a diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing and a little sparkle. I usually take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. After saying goodbye to President Tanaki, decide to go back to the dorm. This is an evening social link. So now it goes to late night. Oh. Hey, Tanaka, I got a box from your show. Shoes of Bane and five mega proteins. Uh, study, and I'll sleep earlier because I was just out. I probably should have gotten that one earlier, but, you know. I've already explained. It's probably going to be way too late to even get him, uh, as a good social link. After school already. Okay, Jinpei, is he around these days or not? Jinpei-san went home early today. He was walking quite fast. Perhaps he has not fully recovered from the incident. I am concerned. Okay, how about you? What's with you? Does something happen to Jinpei-kun? He seems kind of down. It's tough for me to see him like that. I hope he feels better soon. He's so pale. I can't get over how pale he is. Should I just max out Fuka since I'm getting pretty high up with her? I know I've been going slow, but I've been maxing out certain ones that others I've been neglecting, like her. But... I figure since I'm already high up with Fuka, I might as well try it with... Okay, first things first. Uh, there's a few things I have to do. First of all, the Persimmon Tree. I believe I took that quest, so I'm gonna go do that one right now. Persimmon Tree is in this direction, I believe. Near the uh, area to the gym. She apparently likes drinks. I don't know if I've ever seen that dialogue. I may have talked to her once or twice. Of course, it could be, potentially, that she's only here on certain days. I'm not really sure. Unless that's you, right? Oh, that drink! Can I see it? Ooh, is this the limited edition drink you can only get in Kyoto? Wow, impressive! I have to say, I love these rare drinks. Have you seen this one? Odin juice? It's only available in the fall. You want some? Well, I can't let you have it for free. I'll need, let's say, 5,000 yen to part with it. Okay, I'll buy it. What? Are you really going to pay me 5,000 yen for this? Wow, you must be a rare drink maniac. Thanks, though. Now I can get my own rare drink. Obtain Odin juice. Hey, maybe you can help me out with a fellow... As, ha, blah, blah. Maybe you can help out a fellow rare drink maniac. Do you think if we made those persimmons into a drink, maniacs all over the country would like it? Maybe. But they're going to tear it down soon. So it doesn't really matter. Did my getting that drink in Kyoto uh, help me out in some way? Or did, like... Would that have happened anyways? Or is that just two dialogues meshed together because it just happened to be like that? Anyways, let's talk to that girl too. See if, um... She... Has enough of those Celo Miss... Well, if I have enough for her, that is. If so, great. If not, well, I guess I'm gonna have to buy like 20 more. And she... Okay, actually, I have another quest to do. Iwatodai. No, Port Island, you idiot. Come on, you're supposed to be getting on track here. Because apparently I need charm for, um... That bar that's in the, uh... Where Shinji died, that is. Now, I never went back to it. 
I know it sounds like an excuse, but I never went back to it because I guess I was so low on charm that it never mentioned that I needed charm to begin with. So I never bothered checking if that was necessary. Okay, you do, you, do I finally have enough? Thank you. The girl downed one seal of mist after another. She drank 20 cans in all. Ah, that hit the spot. The student looks healthier now. Huh? A missing person's flyer? Oh, I guess I haven't been back home in a while. I'll give my parents a call later. Thanks. The girl decided to phone home. You succeed in delivering cool liquid refreshment. So what? Should I just give everyone a can, a 20 cans of CeeLo Mist and that'll cure apathy syndrome? Or is it only her? Why only her? That's a plot hole if I ever saw one. Okay. Uh, okay, sera sera. You hear voices from below. Whoa, not bad. I bet this will be popular. Uh, sure. Sorry, we're not open yet. Hey, aren't you still in high school? You're not supposed to be in there, here. Hmm? You look like you've been around the block a time or two. It must be fate. Can you try this new cocktail I whipped up? Oh, don't worry, there's no alcohol in it. It's only my little concoction. I'm hoping to expand our clientele. Cheers! She drank the cocktail. It's the perfect balance between sweet and sour. It has a refreshing flavor. So, what do you think? Good, huh? Not bad. Right? I knew you'd like it. Tell you what, I'll give you a bottle of it. Uh, on the house. I'm gonna go home and catch some Z's. Come back when you're illegal and I'll let you try the good stuff. Obtain Queen Elizabeth. There you go. Uh, what about this thing? Cigarette smoke and a nervous tension fill the air. Okay, I'm assuming this one I absolutely cannot enter. E well, I mean, it doesn't say I need anything in particular and my charm's already maxed. The only thing I haven't maxed is my academics. Alright, so that's uh, three quests down in one shot, actually. So, I guess I'll return to Elizabeth at Polonia Mall, then. Finally got Queen Elizabeth, because uh, Comet was mentioned again. I never went back to the original one, stupidly. So, I never reread where I was supposed to get it. Never bothered checking that sushi bar again. Alright, I'll stop ragging on that. No one wants to hear me rag on the, the uh, stupid stuff behind me. Anyways, let's just get all these done and see if there's anything else slash things I need to catch up on. Might as well get these all done in one shot. Alright. The drink you're carrying, it's for my request? Queen Elizabeth. I suppose it does share the name Elizabeth. But if they were going to make this type of drink, I wish they would have consulted me first. Oh well. It's not alcoholic, is it, Nit? I'll try it later. Please accept your reward. Why would they need your permission if you wanted to drink with your name on it? Whatever. You seem to have completed another request. Ah, this is Odin juice. It looks like an ordinary can of juice. But inside, it's still warm. The sensation on my tongue. It must be one of the ingredients in Odin. It feels like eggs? Very mysterious. Technology is advancing at a rapid pace, I see. I'll savor the taste of this juice later. And here I get... Gail Makatama. And one more. I saw the family asking for anyone who knew where the missing person might be contacted, and, well... Thank you for looking. It seems that you're adept not just at finding shouts, but humans as well. You may be able to use your talent to become what they call a detective. I strongly recommend trying on a deerskin cap to, and pipe to see how they fit you. And here I get maid outfit. That's probably for like you carry or something. I wonder if she'll actually turn into a maid. Probably not. Uh, I know there was also the maid outfit B I saw somewhere. I doubt I have those. The fourth block, the third block. This was from the f there were two of them from the fourth block actually. That would be something I'd do on my own time for sure. Okay, I can do this one I guess. I don't know how hard it's going to be. I saw a, a neglected patch of flowers. Well, I guess I'll look for that back when I get there. You will need a regular angel and a higher class of angel. Uh, might be possible, but I'll save it for now. Uh, what else? Find me a beautiful tile. I've heard that there are small square tiles in your world with peacocks on them. I'd like to see one if possible. Huh. Looks like there are some... Well, there was one new one. Okay... I guess I'll take it. 
But where would one find a tile? Square tiles with peacocks on them. I guess I can take a look. Hmm. That's the most bizarre request. It's kind of vague. Just square tiles with peacocks on them. Um, at this point, I'm kind of... I kind of just got no ideas. I mean, I'll pay attention when I'm around, but first I'm just going to go back to Gekku Khan. Let's see, now there's supposed to be neglected group of flowers. Oh, that's uh, you. Flowers, eh? I don't know if I've ever seen flowers per se. I don't think these count. Those are more like bushes. And I can't go any further in, so there must be flowers somewhere else. I never paid attention if they were in the school directly, so I'll take a look at that. The only one who really takes care of flowers well is Yukari. That's more like a tree than a flower. Hmm. Alright, let's head this way quickly. See if I can get Mits talk to Mitsuru or something. But I'm pretty sure it's still not a possibility. Thinks I finally settled down a bit. Since I'm a seer, I was thinking of assigning more tasks to the underclassmen in student council. I deserve some free time after all. I'll still show up to the meetings, of course. Really? Let's walk home together? Are you asking me to hang out with you? I don't mean to be rude, but shouldn't you be devoting more time to your studies? School should be a student's number one priority. I don't respect those who take their education for granted. Well, there you go. I gotta become a genius. Now I can hang out with her. Um, it... I'm assuming... Okay, you know what I probably had to do? I know what I had to do. I probably had to advance really far with the student council one. Some social links really lead into another. That's definitely what happened, and that's probably another late one. So Mitsuru will have to, you know, kind of butt out for now. While I deal with, like, Fuka. I mean, I'm going to try and get the genius, but it sure is taking a while. Because I do social links mostly. Anyways, I don't think we're really going to do much this time. But, you know, maybe I will advance for all I know. If it's the library, then I know we won't. Oh, library. Maybe I should spend the entire Sunday studying, actually. I am curious to see what exactly I do at Mitsuru. There we go, a meeting. And Jimpe decided to come out. Cheer up, Jimpe. Yeah. So what do you want? This came for you. It's from the hospital. What? They were going through her items when they found that. I know I have to snap out of this, but it's just so hard. Uh. Hmm. You should look at it or hang in there, Junpei. Ah, hang in there, Junpei. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You wouldn't be able to understand her drawings, anyways. Wait, is this? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't be able to under understand it? Uh huh. Is this? It's a detailed portrait of Junpei san. Chidori. <laughs> Junpei. It's like she's telling me to stop moping around. She must be looking out for you.
promised to, to fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. And I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. It still bothers me a little. But I want you to know that I'm counting on your abilities. Uh, I'm counting on you too. Makes him sound important. Junpei. Don't worry, he'll be stupid soon. What's with you, Agus? Mysterious voice rings in your head. Most likely the C social link. Makes sense. Everyone's gathered around, helping each other out. Num nine, so there's one more to go before we max it out. Man, I hope I get extra time to do my social links because I really I want to try and max them all out. Where you know what? At least the ones with all the girls, because I am interested to see Mitsuru in her private time. I want to see how everything advances with Fuka and Yukari. Why are you two still over here separated? Hey, who's that hot guy in the sketchbook? Chidori might have touched it up a little, but pretty soon I'm gonna look just like him. Wait and see. Well, he cheered up really fast. Almost unnaturally fast. Heh, <laughs> now that's the Jinpei I know. And now everyone's back to normal for now. Jinpei looked like a different person in that drawing. Hmm. Even though she was an avant garde artist, she left a sketchbook filled with portraits of Iori. Do you understand the reason why she changed her style of sketching so drastically? Uh, how about if I say I do? Good, don't forget it. Oh, okay, what happens if I say no? Are you gonna explain it to me? I don't get art. Well, it's very important, to, so take some time and think about it. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't really get art. Even though Natsuki-chan and I are apart, our bonds live on. I think the same thing is true for Junpei-kun and Jidori-san. Jidori-san has passed away, but her bond with Junpei-kun will last forever. Until Jinpei dies. The recovery of Jinpei's son's mental health has been confirmed. Wait, did that sound strange? Let me try again. I have confirmed that Jinpei's son's mental state has returned to normal. That's not really as different. He smells something and doesn't want to go. Every channel is showing about apathy syndrome. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is... Let's go talk to the Mr. Mr. here. See if he's around, that is. Then, tomorrow, I'll just spend all day studying. I don't think anything's gonna really go on. See if I can get to Genius, finally. And then, um... See if I can hang out with Mitsuru as well, because I... Like I said, I'm interested in, uh... The dorm mate social links. Oh, it's you, Chuck. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a variable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. I don't have any... Devils, though, but whatever. Man, you're enthusiastic. Oh, my, you're enthusiastic. He wouldn't say man, he says my. So I lost 40,000 uh, yen just to talk to this guy. My schedule is so packed, I don't even have time to breathe. I don't usually deal with your average Joe, you know. You should be glad that you're such a handsome boy. He's, he's He keeps emphasizing how handsome and adorable I am. Alright, let's add a new word to our vocabulary today. Repeat after me. Placebo. The stress is on the middle syllable. Placebo. Splendid. It's so charming how you say it. He's pleased. A placebo is a pretend pill. Basically, it's medicine to ease your mind. Eliminate those unsightly love handles without lifting a finger. It's a miracle breakthrough that will make you feel fabulous. Enjoy a relaxing drive while taking in the beautiful scenery. Our incredible supplement will help you get the most of our most out of life. These are part of our unique line of products. Wow. Wow, you're that impressed by our imaginary products? I suppose they are rather spectacular. Now he's pleased again. We may not be providing tangible benefits, but we do provide peace of mind. People will pay handsomely for that, you know. Take emergency supplies, for example. People feel safe just because they have them. But it's merely a false sense of security. That's it for today. Today's lesson. You can pay me back when you make your first million. I received some questionable advice from him. And now I suddenly understand life better. Okay. This guy's creepy. No wonder the uh, person on the MMO said that he's creepy. He keeps calling me adorable and handsome. 
I mean, it's one thing to comment on my looks, but to continuously do it when I'm not giving you on TV is different. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll upload your picture to an internet dating site for former prison inmates. Oh, that's comforting. But he's probably got empty threats there. I don't think such a site exists. Well, it probably does. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, it's Yuko. Are you busy right now? What's up? You're free tomorrow? Well, there goes my studying. Okay, then I guess I'll study tonight. Oh well. She wants. Uh, she called, so she, that's what's gonna happen now. I'll probably be tired tomorrow. Oh, okay, I'm normal. You know what I need to do is the shrine, I think. That's what's gonna really boost it up, but then I lose a day. I probably should have had max academics by now. Let's just meet with Yuko. I know she's of the strength arcana, but I don't think I have any. So what are we gonna talk about? I don't even remember what we talked about last time. It's been a, such a long time with you. Whoa, hey, we're at the, uh... Well, it's mostly a jewelry shop, but I know it's the accessories place. I'm having a good time with Yuko. I like this one with the cute little animals on it. Yuko is looking at uh, some silver jewelry. This one with the heart on it is a little more feminine, but everyone has heart-shaped jewelry. Yuko can't seem to make up her mind. Which one do you like better, Chuck? The one with the animals, the heart-shaped one? They both suit you. Hey, do you really mean that? Or are you just playing it safe? I guess it doesn't matter since I'm only window shopping today. Oh, I annoyed her. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Uh, other. I have a lucky charm. Uh, what do they have an antique? Teddy bear Japanese doll. Uh, fashion. A brand person, a brand... I don't really know what would make you go happy, really. Well, the lucky charm might make sense for her. Let's try the lucky charm. Hmm? This is for me? Wow, it's so nice, thanks! She likes my present. I got a, I got myself stuck in a rut because I answered incorrectly, because I played it safe. Well, how was I... I mean... Maybe I should have just said one or the other instead of both. The full moon's almost here. No showers have appeared yet, but I'm still worried. Oh, that reminds me. Ryoji couldn't see her again. He's visiting Junpei. Junpei's still pretty down, so I'm glad he has a good friend like Ryoji-kun. Um, okay, is he here or... I don't know. What are you looking at? I wonder why I can't stop thinking about Ryoji-san. Koromaru has no idea either. I have no idea either. I, I mean, she drew a picture of him in a, her sketchbook, huh? That sounds like a scene in a romance novel. Anyway, I'm glad that Junpei-san is himself again. I don't think I talked to him yet, even. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. He's not even here right now. I guess they're in his room. Jimpe looked like a different yada yada yada. Same thing for you too. Yeah. Same thing with you. Let's talk. Even though Natsuki da 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 da. Yeah, yeah. I know. Together forever. Friends forever. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 41, the secret base explodes! Take it back, Fred Minar! And now the news. Tension is still high over the apathy syndrome since the causes are still under undetermined. That's fine. Uh, I guess I'll save a bit for now. I still had a save from uh, the uh, Kyoto trip so I could go back and uh, see the alternative scene for the fun of it. I didn't keep that save. It didn't affect anything anyways. I just wanted to see it for the fun of it. Which I actually recorded before this part, but you'll see it in the previous part. Oh. Hey, Jinpei, where's Ryuji? Ryuji is in my room right now, but he's not going to stay long, so call me if you're going to Tartarus. Hmm, what should I get him? He's in your room doing what? Jinpei doesn't seem to be in his room. Yeah, but he's got someone else in there. Um... I guess I'll go study. Let's 
study and go to sleep, but I'll probably be tired tomorrow. But that's okay. I can always take an extra night to sleep. That's okay. I'm not tired. I thought I would become. All right. Uh, one day this week, I shall go to the shrine when in a great mood. Ah, but Wednesday is a full moon. What exactly is going to happen? Uh, I think I noticed there was a little problem with the the recording just now. No, I'm not, it didn't stop, but it looks like it might uh, do some weird flicking. I'm not really sure. Maybe it won't. Anyway. Oh, how sublimey the hero in Murasaki no Ue is portrayed in this passage. She was written to be the ideal woman of the Heian period. The quintessential Heian beauty. Probably say it wrong. Heian? Speaking of Heian beauty, here's a question for you, Chuck. The chief criteria for a Heian beauty was the length of a woman's hair, though cosmetics were important too. They used white makeup, plucked their eyebrows in favor of drawing on drawn on ones, and colored their teeth with limonite. But what do you think men did these things? Did they plucked their eyebrows, they colored their teeth, they did both. Uh they did both. Hmm. It's supposed it I suppose it was an easy question. It was a unified style. Whether man or woman, every adult sport this fashion. Even though the white powder was lead based and unhealthy, they were to uphold their standards of beauty. Compared to them, you guys are Yay, my maxed out charm is now more maxed, I guess. Lunchtime, someone wants to meet with me. I wouldn't be surprised if it was Fuka because of where I am exactly. Oh, it's Hidetoshi. Well, then it's you. Sure. You were the first one and the only one, so I shall go and see you. I guess maybe I'll go quickly check out um, flowers. Maybe. Anyway, what are you saying these days? I'm worried about Ryuji-san, and it is affecting my concentration. This is not good. I don't... I mean, it seems like Aga-san has been staring at me lately. I hope she's not going to embarrass me again. Well, I mean, it can't be love. That's completely unreasonable for a robot, especially like Agus, who has no emotions. And she, he's supposedly dangerous. It has to be more than that. But it could turn out to be nothing. I My assumption is we'll find out on the full moon. There's, He seems to have come in an odd time too, making him seem suspicious. The fact that he... Um, came after the chairman screwed around in Tartarus makes me wonder if he has a connection to it. Now, quickly, flowers. Hmm. I'm very tempted to just get to the full moon uh, in this part, so I don't know if it'll be longer or not. I can't think of where to find flowers, though. Never really looked for them. Never really paid attention. This is an area that doesn't have flowers, just a persimmon tree. Are you still talking? That persimmon tree is going to be cut down. What a waste. I so want to try its fruit. There's one right now. Why don't you pluck it? Well, I guess she finally heard of it, though. Uh, I guess I'll just go to student council, then. Because there's nothing else to do, really. Um... Okay, tomorrow, since there will be the day before the full moon, that's when I'll go to the shrine and try and get my academics to max. I'll sleep tonight. I thought Hidetoshi was going to be here, because he usually is hanging around here with Mitsuru. So Mitsuru will now lighten her duties at the student council, which is fine, I guess. Uh, meaning that... I guess this is that's so that she can you know hang out with me after school. Uh, I'm I'm curious to see with her. She seems like she doesn't have really any real interests. Uh, let's go here and uh, put this one up a little bit too. Chihiro's here. Chihiro's the only one here. Chuck son, today's meeting was canceled. Um, what happened to Hidetoshi-san? Uh... 
Why, is something wrong? Just now, a teacher called him into the office. I think it's about the cigarette butt. She's scared. He decided to go to the office. I took a guess that he may have been the smoker and was blaming others on it. I'm not sure if that's actually going to be true. Don't be so stubborn. Just put his name on the list. You hear someone yelling inside the office. Chuck Kuda was chosen by the student president to be in student council. He's very responsible. That's why I don't consider him a suspect. Oh. You hear a teacher in Hidetoshi talking. There are witnesses who saw him wandering the streets at midnight. I thought you hated students who don't follow the rules. I don't doubt that there were witnesses, but... I believe in Chuck Kun, I'm, so I'm not adding him to the list of suspects. I thought you were smarter than that, Hidetoshi. Forget about our deal. If you will excuse me, then... You were listening? Of course it would be. You came to my defense? It may have sounded like that, but I just did what I thought was right. The, that teacher thinks it was you. Did he really pass his certification exam? Don't worry, chuck -kun. Even if the whole school turns on me, I won't sell you out. The true friend and relationship is stronger. Apparently I'm one of the only ones who he didn't consider. Probably with the rest of the student council. But apparently I'm the closest person to a friend he has. Level 8. It's getting close. I won't sell you out. Not bad, huh? See ya, Chuckkin. So I go back to the dorm. Okay, I'm gonna do this quickly then. Uh, so the full moon's soon. Now, if there's going to be an operation... Well, actually... Everyone's hanging out with him, apparently, not just Jinpei. Oh, hi, what's up? Studying? You know, I'm here a lot, but I hardly ever run into you. Strange, huh? Oh, well, I'm out of here. See you later. We barely saw each other now. But I actually have a life compared to these people. Was that Ryoji-san? Yeah, he said he was going home. What was he doing here? He's been coming here a lot ever since he started hanging around with Junpei. But visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Mitsuro Senpai said it's okay during the day. I don't think we need to worry about Ryoji kun. Always worry about the unknown. JRPGs work that way. Dangerous. Who? Ryoji kun? Come to think of it, he was hitting on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. He was? <laughs> but having him around us really cheered up Junpei kun. Not like moping around him and bring him back. So if he turns on us, will Jinpei King go a berserk and really get depressed? That's true. I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine, so I cannot understand how it feels to live. But you don't seem that different. However, it is more accurate to say that I am functioning as opposed to living. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. So if we were all like you, we wouldn't have to worry about dying. Uh, sorry. Hey, I don't have time to talk. I seriously gotta go study. Hey, shouldn't you guys be studying too? I heard math's gonna be a killer. You wait until now to tell us that? Well, I guess we should call it a night then. 
Just me and Agus. Or not. I should not possess the gift of life. A living weapon is difficult to operate. However, I believe I understand the concept of loss. Should you ever be harmed, I... Um... Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. You are very special to me. I do not know why, but I always want to be by your side. Most likely, it's your programming. I want to protect you. I apologize for interrupting you. I will leave you to your studies. Good night. More? Ryoji Mojisuki is dangerous. What is this uneasiness? Maybe... Hmm. Well, I have a kind of theory here, now that this, this conversation has happened, that... Maybe she was made to protect Chuck, me, uh, or I, I, I've heard of his uh, real canon name, but I kind of forget at this point, from Ryoji. There's got to be a reason for all this, especially with all the dialogue happening here about protecting me and Ryoji being in the same area. I am a machine. I cannot die, so they won't have to grieve for me. I must do something. I don't want them to suffer anymore. Don't do anything rash, though. That would be even worse than, uh... Suffering. Well, that would would be suffering. Only Ken is here. What's he doing? Reading a uh, manga? Agus son doesn't seem to like Ryuji san. I agree that he's a bit strange, but I think he's okay. Now, if there is an operation, unfortunately, I will not make it to the full moon today, and that is disappointing me personally. If I had more time, I would extend and record for two hours but that would be a weekend thing but it's a weekday gotta work still i gotta do an extra shift so let's see here this was labor day full moon's here and here's where the exams are we are on the uh 30th currently and it's on the second okay tomorrow i'm gonna go into tomorrow i think Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject is late in her 30s with a beauty spot under her eye. She can dance the fl flamenco, so I wonder what she'd look like with a rose in her mouth. Next is news. Apathy syndrome, go away. I'm going to go to tomorrow where I'm going to go to the shrine. I'm going to sleep. Uh-oh. Yeah, I notice uh, I'm having some problems with the recording apparently. It appears to be that, so, um... You just said it's dangerous. I'm certain of it. Things are fine for now, but one day that will change. Please do not worry, though. I'll be there to protect you. Anyways, yeah, I think uh, I've noticed some skipping, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go here. Uh... Hello? It's me. I'm sorry for calling so late. As for what to do with the new arrival, I would like to ask that you perform a full autopsy. If we find any distinguishing features, we may be able to locate her family, and I can't shake my suspicion that the Kirijo group is tied to Strega in some way. Because of this, I think it would be disrespectful to the deceased to cover up her death. I will, of course, take full responsibility. Huh? What did you say? Transmogrified? Y you mean the corpse? But judging by the post-mortem, we were certain she was... Understood. I'm sorry, but this must be kept strictly confidential until we know more. If there are any other changes... Yes, absolutely. Well then.
What's going on? Hmm. We'll have to wait and see what happens for now. So she turns into a coffin at night. Uh, I'll sleep earlier for today. Seems to be a transitioning thing where it always happens. Um, I'm going to take a look at the recording after I'm done here. And see if uh, it really is having problems. I'm obviously going to write in the description. It seems to be whenever it changes to something. Oh, well, if someone wants to meet me today when I'm in a great condition. Who is it? You again. Uh, I haven't decided. Yeah, no. Um, I really want to get my academics up. If I'm in a great mood, I am definitely going to... Um, go to the shrine. Huh. They're together for some reason. Yoji is absent today, man. Class seems so quiet without him. I never realized what a difference it made having him around. Yeah, he's absent for a reason. Not you. Her. There we go. Ryuji-san was absent today as well. I wonder what happened. He's probably sick or something. It's been cold lately. Or maybe he met a hot chick on the way to school and decided to go out with her. That guy does stuff like that without even thinking about it. Well, he's absent for a reason. We know that much. Um... So, I'm in a great condition. Yep, I am. So let's go to the shrine for today. And then this will be the end of this part. The full moon is tomorrow, which is when things will go down, definitely. Uh, Naganaki Shrine, here I come. It doesn't happen often that I get video problems, but when it does, it really does suck. Alright, hopefully this will finally bring me to genius. Oh, I'm still not there. That annoys me. Evening is normal, no cutscenes. Alright, everything's normal. Tomorrow's the full moon, but we don't have any shadows to kill. Man, this sucks. I heard Ryoji's not feeling good. Maybe he's been studying too much. Haha, <laughs> now nah, that can't be it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna end this part for today now. Next time will definitely be the full moon. Yeah, I'm having problems with the recording. Oh, man. Sucks that's happening. But, uh... It is what it is. So, I'm just gonna end this part right now. I'll see you next time where the next full moon will happen. And we'll probably find out what's happening with Ryoji. See you then.